Hello and welcome to this episode of Simply Saturday, where I get to show you a card that is fast and easy to make. My name is Julie and this is Stamp with Julie Baum. Today I'm going to be showing you card, a card that uses some products that you are going to be able to order very soon. Right now, as I'm um, preparing this video for you, it's the very end of December, but as a demonstrator, I was able to pre-order some of these products um, earlier than they are available to the public, which is definitely a benefit of being a demonstrator. But these are coming to you beginning on January 3rd, and these items are found in the January to Mm, which month does this go to? I think it's four months long. January through April mini catalog. So the stamp set is called Be My Valentine. There is a coordinating punch that goes with the stamp set. We're not using the punch today, but in future weeks, I'm sure I'll be doing some, pro some projects with that punch. And these cute little embellishments, look at how cute they are. These are called Adhesive Backed Hearts and Flowers. And then, of course, the coordinating paper that goes with in the Be Mine suite. So let's jump into our project. I'm starting with a piece of cardstock in Sweet Sorbet. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And I have scored it down the center at four and a quarter. And I will reinforce my fold there with my bone folder. I do have a second piece of Sweet Sorbet. And this piece also measures five and a half, so it's the same in the length. It is one and three quarter inches wide. You could do this with a two inch piece if you wanted to. It would just make this piece obviously a little bit larger. Um, but I liked the look of, the, of these dimensions, so that's that. Now this piece, um, I will mention, look at how cute that is on the back. Um, this piece measures four inches by five and a quarter. But if you have started using my super easy layering template system, this is a template number two size piece. I'm going to be using a lot of these layering templates as I describe how to make my cards in 2024. If you'd like more information and how to get your own set of these layering templates, just send me a message and I will get back to you and make sure that you're able to um, purchase a packet of those from me. So the first thing that, oh, and then we also have a second piece of the designer series paper. This is a coordinating pattern, all right? So let's do some gluing. I'm gonna glue this piece to this piece of cardstock like so. I hope that as 2023 is wrapping up that you had a wonderful Christmas. We are headed into New Year's weekend as I'm preparing this for you. On this piece, I'm gonna add my um, liquid glue onto the back and this is going to go right on the front of the card. If you stay tuned to the end of this video, I've made a couple of other cards with this same layout just to inspire you, show you some other things that can be done. All right, so that's in place. This is in place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach this to the front of the card. This is gonna go right here, not quite in the center, although you could do that if you like it. I'm just gonna push it over a little bit so that my space here is narrower than this side. And um, you could either do five dimensionals or I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna do three on this one and I think it's holding it just fine. It's not that large of a piece of paper. So I'm gonna put one at the top and the bottom and one in the center. I do like the one in the center just to keep it from kind of caving in a little bit. All right, so I'm removing the backings of my dimensionals and tossing those into the trash. 
this, make sure my card is opening the correct way it is. And this is kind of easy because you can line up, because it's the same um, length, top to bottom as the card, you can line it up at the bottom. And then you know it's gonna line up at the top. And I'm kind of using this honeycomb design right here also as a visual to see if I'm pretty straight. Okay, that's in place. I just think this print is super cute. The little honeycomb print, uh, very, very cute. So what I've done is I've taken the deckled circles dies and cut one from sweet sorbet and one from white. We're gonna go ahead and stamp our little greeting on this piece. And I think that I will go ahead and use this one. You'll always be the one for me. Let's use that one today. So much fun using a brand new stamp set. Okay, I think I've mentioned this um, in the past, but I am going to remind you, when you're putting your photopolymer stamps on, I recommend instead of just sticking it onto your block like so, that you actually set it down on a surface, give it a minute to sort of breathe and get back into shape, because sometimes after you're peeling it off of either the backing sheet or even once you're peeling it out of your case, um, it can get a little stretched and misshapen, so this gives it just a moment to recover and then place your block on top of it and press down. That's a great way to get your stamp image attached to your block. All right, now we're gonna make this fast and easy, so I'm gonna stick with Sweet Sorbet. We're just matching our colors all along the way here. And because this is literally the first time I've ever stamped with this stamp, I am going to test it on a scrap piece just to see what I get. and maybe a time or two more. You always learn a little something. Um, like I noticed over here, I needed a little bit more pressure. It was a little light. Sometimes you'll see that um, either your ink pad, it has kind of a dry spot and you need to move that around, or sometimes the stamp itself requires maybe a little bit more pressure on one side or the other. Typically, you'll wanna stamp straight down all right, let's do it. I'm aiming for middle. Now, I will tell you, I would typically stamp this on a scrap of white cardstock and then put my die on it and run it through. That way it would be perfectly centered. But to make it easier when I'm filming these videos for you, it's just easier to have these pre-cut and to not have to bring my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine into the field of view here. So that's why I went ahead and cut it. All right, I'm going to attach this flat to the red circle, Sweet Sorbet. And the reason I decided to do that is because I already have this area that's raised, so I don't want it to get too thick. Um, and then this is also going to be flat on here. Look at how cute and so, so easy. You choose your two papers, you coordinate your cardstock. I used one color, the base, the strip, and the circle, and match the ink, and you're done. All right, I'm gonna put a little squiggle of glue down the middle of this, because that is all that is gonna touch onto this piece, like so. And you could adjust where this goes. I like it here because I like that that B is showing. On a different one, I might do it a little higher, but I like the position of this one. Okay, now let's just put an embellishment or two on here from these sweet little adhesive backed hearts and flowers. It's gonna be hard to choose because they are all so cute. So just by laying it on here, which is super helpful, I think I'm gonna use one of these little blue flowers in the corner here. I'm going to pop it off of the little backing sheet 
using my take your pick tool like so and just add it like that and we are done now i did not take the time to put a piece of white cardstock on the inside which i typically would we can bring that scrap back in just to give you an idea okay the white piece would go on the inside like so let me show you a couple of others that i did as i was preparing the idea for this i was putting away my christmas dsp because i'm done with it for the year and if you recall this one maybe maybe it was called merry and bright i have to think but so it was a christmas print um, but on the back side was this colorful, not very Christmassy print. So I used the polka dots and the stripes from that one and made this one into a happy birthday card. Then from that same packet of paper, I did use the Christmassy side. You can see how that would be a very fun, fast and easy Christmas card. And then wanting to use some of the new things again, I grabbed this idea. This is actually designer series paper. It's the back of, I call it the B side or the back side of one of the prints. And it's just this pretty peacock kind of a background color. So I chose that here, this adorable little floral print. And then um, this stamp comes from this heartfelt hexagon so that's where I got the stamp and I used the coordinating punch for that all right so back to our card of the day this one thank you so much for watching today I really appreciate you tuning in I hope that you are inspired and will use this layout to create something of your very own in the description box below this video, I will put a current host code. I would certainly love to have you place your Stampin' Up! order through me if you don't already have a demonstrator. I invite you to go ahead and do that, especially with the new products coming. You have a lot of extra new and fun choices. I will put some other helpful hints in that description box. And until next time, happy stamping!